guys, get on, get on that side. Yo, dudes, welcome to, to another tonight. episode of the Road FS podcast. We are live at the Rufus from... Training Center in Louisville, Colorado. And so we, we the ADA training. That's ADA right. ADA with is, the uh, myth, the legend, Mr. Brett Berry, shiny you, Jets, man. Dude. <laughs> so this is, this is huge. There's like over 20 students here. Um, we actually have helicopters in the building. If you haven't seen, which is you're, you're kind of, you're living under a rock if you haven't seen that because that was pretty epic. I mean, I'm not to say probably the most epic entrance of a training I ever to have cool, helicopters right? in there. <laughs> yeah. So we couldn't get a jet on the run. On the right, right. They wouldn't so let us bring it in. So uh, let me clarify. So the ADA is the Aviation Detailing Association. So yep. yes. in case you guys don't know ADA, the... So, yep. so this is really exciting. Rupes has opened their doors yeah. to the ADA, right? I mean, Josh Hernandez had this vision over a little over a year ago. Yeah, you two founder. connected. Yep. And you guys just have like, like the synergy between the two of you is phenomenal. Well, I had planned on doing what Josh was going to do. The, he's the founder of the ADA. And... Uh, he already had a lot of things set in play, and I'm over here doing this, 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 filming, building courses, and I'm like, why don't we just put this together? Especially because Josh's experience as an AMP IA mechanic, where I don't have any certifications in aviation, so it really um, it brings me up a level. And then my personal experience for detailing aircraft for 16 years selling two companies and training over 80 students already around the world so that yeah, helped out it, it, it's insane you know it, it was interesting because rod, rod and i went to the houston training mm -hmm. where it was just josh yep. and then to come to this training where you guys were doing it in tandem yep. and there was really good synergies from the perspective of the the, the mechanic but also the detailer and bringing those in because i think one of the biggest challenges in the industry today that the ADA is trying to absolve is the the level of expertise that is required and knowledge to to detail these planes because you're basically an extension of the maintenance team yeah yeah so i was always working with mechanics so josh and, and I, all my trainings i had reviewed by an amp ia mechanic actually just like josh's but um so when i brought when i built this training josh didn't really have to tweak anything so we didn't have a ton of time to to come together and we just kind of went in there and, and did it uh because he knew what i've done and i know what he's done and i was able to make sure that everything and as i always has complies with federal aviation standards right? yeah so so this is actually in, in, in a year this has come a long ways because uh, it's not just about detailing, right? I mean, everybody thinks, well, it's the same thing. It's just, a, it's just another, you know, surface. It, it's true. It is another surface. It's got a different substrate to it. There's rivets, but it's, it's all of the safety. I mean, yep. the number one concern is the safety of the passengers and the pilots that are going to be taking this aircraft out when it's done. Um, and you don't really, I mean, you think about it, but you don't think about it. If somebody brings in mom's minivan and you blow out the interior and you do an exterior wash, you're not thinking about safety aspects of that. This, every single thing you touch, you're thinking about it. So it's a unique training in that sense because it takes on a, a, a higher level of responsibility for the detailer. Um, but at the same time, it's a really exciting thing that's going on in the market right now because... Um, this is really kind of, it's not untapped. You've been doing this for a hundred years, yeah. but it is um, just now coming kind of to the, the forefront, if you will, and being more vogue to be in the aircraft. Yeah, well, I think what's untapped though is, is the quality of work in the industry. It sucks. So that's what really ticked me off and made me start the, uh, the trainings. And then also just after that was, the products in the aviation industry are not great. They're not user yeah. friendly. They don't preserve the aircraft as well. So that's why I came out with the Fly Shiny product line to solve a lot of aircraft detailers' problems. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's all we do as entrepreneurs, as business owners, just solve problems. Um, so, but also, Josh is uh, explaining and articulating all the liabilities and all that stuff and stuff that you're exposed to. And 
we have to think that, the, like you mentioned, cars cars don't leave the ground. Right. Boats don't right. leave the water. Right. right. And they're not boats aren't supposed to. I've gone airborne to boats yeah. before. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, aircraft can't just pull over. Uh, Josh is what what is Josh says. Uh, an aircraft can't pull over in the clouds, right? Right, so, right. And I would say it's uh, the, the jet takes off, turns into a bullet, then they slow down the bullet and land. So it's there's a lot going on there. Yeah, um, and and it's different. The components are different. Um, the the things you have to uh, there's a lot more curved surfaces and everything. This is unique as well because you're different. You don't have the same traditional landing gear as you have on. For instance, a private jet or even a commercial jet that the yep. landing gear on these is basically a skiff. A skiff. Yep. So the the uniqueness of this particular training is unreal. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody detailing helicopters. And these <laughs> yeah, are not cool. these are not chump helicopters. These are nice. I mean, this thing's got a beautiful paint job on it. Interior, so, beautiful. interior yeah. everything. Um, so when people walk away from this, they're going to have a new level of understanding. Just a second ago, Jason asked a raise of hands of anybody that ever polished on any kind of aircraft. And there were only about four of us in the room. And I know that two of us, we're not, we're not professional detailers. We're, yeah. you know, we're software nerds. So I think that that is something that really brings a level of, uh, a higher level of training is what I'm trying to get to. Because not only are we doing this, but we're going to be taking a trip to an airport and looking at a smaller aircraft as well. And looking at you know leading and trailing edges and and all kinds of pieces that automobiles do not have yes um so this is you said it earlier how long have you been working on aircraft uh this month 16 years so 16 years of experience detailing josh brings with him the military background pilot the mechanic. highest level of air of aeronautics mechanic you yep. can get that is just like this dream combination of stuff yeah um what are you guys i mean i know we have another training in october uh september. september that's right coming up in september if people want to get involved in this i can tell you for sure there are four people in this training that i personally talked to one of them i talked to in january and they tried to secure their spot so if you want to get involved in these trainings you've got to get into them early because they fill up fast yeah, yeah we didn't even advertise this training um and it filled up before we even had a chance to to put together flyers and, and everything, it is sold out. Uh, we've got uh, some students already signed up for the September class. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna fill up quick. And then we've got additional trainings that are more advanced for the different surfaces on aircraft. So CD1 and CD2. So they'll go into in-depth like bright work restoration, um, window polishing, uh, wool carpet cleaning, which we don't have Wool yeah, carpet you don't have wool carpet and cars, so right? It's completely different. You're dealing with pHs and you're dealing with fire retardants and all sorts of things that need to be complied with, as well as uh, leather cleaning and all that stuff. So those would be the more uh, higher level trainings. Uh, but first, you have to take the basic training, which is like this, and at, at Houston, and then we'll have those other trainings coming out yeah. shortly after. And yeah, I think that's, that's a very key point that you hit on is that. These, these surfaces, all these substrates you're working on, whether it's interior, exterior, the props, the landing gear, all that, they all have to retain the manufacturer's specifications when you're done with them. Yeah. For aerodynamics, for performance, for longevity, for corrosion, for everything. So you can't just slap on some stuff you bought down at the local hardware store. Correct. This is not an, this is not, not an industry you want to get into if you want to get into it quick and dirty. Yeah. You, you got to commit a hundred percent and go into it. So, no. So for instance, like later we'll be doing uh de ice boots and on the props, the, on the props, there'll be uh, electric de icers, but the de ice boots are BF Goodrich on the wings, but the electric de icers on the propellers are from the propeller manufacturer. So you actually have right. to call the propeller manufacturer and see how they want those the yeah. icers maintained versus so you might yeah. have two different products that you have to use on de icers on one single piece. Yeah, so, yeah. And lot. this is one of those. Um, you know, we talk about it a lot in the uh, details of the roundtable. Is the uh, low ego emissions. You have to you have to completely bury your ego on this because you're going to run into something you don't know. Like you said, two different surfaces from two different manufacturers, and you know, even yesterday there was a, a confusion about. 
tire dressing, no tire dressing, even if the client says, I want you to do X, Y, Z, they may not know that that's going to totally screw up that plane's manufacturer's recommendations. Or the warranty. Or yeah, the warranty. Yeah. So, so you, then the aircraft's going, like, uh, so for instance, I have a, a King Air, and they're typically BF Goodrich boots, but for some reason, like two years, they use a different style of boot. And if I put BF Goodrich on those DI boots, and there's an issue with those DI boots, they're just going to say, oh, you use the wrong products. Those aren't under warranty. And it could go further. Uh, some aircraft, the service I do on them extends the yeah. airframe warranty on a $65 million jet. See, and that yeah. is, I think that's like, the key is <laughs> it's a lot of knowledge yeah. and it's a lot of being humble and finding things out. Plus, you're not necessarily working with the direct customer. A lot of times no. you're working with a maintenance technician or an or FBO. FBO or or uh, somebody that owns a hangar or something like that where you, you're dealing with a different clientele. So uh, do your homework, get signed up for these trainings. They're phenomenal. Yeah. I learned so much in the first one we went to that was just incredible. And we learned something at every training we ever go to, but this has got so many different aspects um, about you know the way the interiors come apart really easily, which can be great for cleaning, but also bad for putting it back together. Yes. And you gotta know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, removing certain things you're not gonna do. You're not you are not certified to remove certain parts of these aircraft, regardless of whether you want to or not. Yeah, you can't put in a, you can't take out a screw and put it back in. Right, yeah, right, period, no. at all, no. you know? I mean, yeah. it's like you see a lot of people taking off wheels and tires on cars that they're probably not even certified to do that. And yet, alone, <laughs> you know, you take a, a, a Porsche GT3 or something like that, a $300,000 car, pop off a, a wheel on that thing and think, oh, I'll just put it back on. You may have just no. completely blown the warranty on that car this is millions of dollars and lives at stake. Yes. So, yeah. yep. so man, it, it, like Rod said, if you're even interested in aviation detailing, you need to get, a, you need to join the ADA, get certified, yep. trained by Mr. Brett Berry and Josh Hernandez. The, and then and the Jason Sarah, Rose. And Jason Rose, of course. <laughs> and Sarah. Sarah, there you go. There you go, Sarah. One of our favorite people in the world. So, yeah, I mean... Like, like Rod said, it's I think it's September 14th, 15th is the yeah. weekend. That, yeah, that, that's September 14th and 15th. Go out and look online. We'll be posting some stuff later on as well. We'll put up the flyer for it. But but it's 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 a great training in Houston. It's a, it's a great facility too. Is yeah. that the same yeah. one we did yeah. before at Lone uh, Star? I haven't been to that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's nice. Oh, so. the Lone Star is absolutely beautiful. You could eat off the floor. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful it's, it's facility. Cool. So, so get signed up for it. Uh, it's a good time to go to Houston. It's not going to be too hot. Yeah, it's always hot in Houston. <laughs> anyway, well, thank you guys so much for tapping in. We'll probably go live once or twice more. Uh, thank you, Brad, for well, everything you do for the industry. Yeah, no um, and, and you guys, you guys can see, I mean, it. look, I mean, these guys are busy. They're getting down, working on these things. So um, we will check you guys a little bit later. So, good. Yeah.